Hello everyone, today me is Marif welcoming you in my new tutorial that is the Photoshop tutorial and uh, it is a uh, photo manipulation or color correction and also the background blur and I will add here some um, the dust effect also. I will show you how to make dust effect in a Photoshop and uh, many of our mm, uh, fan or mm, followers or subscribers asked me how to make mm, this one how to me make this type of uh, brush tool or the dust brush okay let's go to the tutorial and let's start the tutorial at first i'm making a new layer or copy the new layer of this uh, background and then i'll do as it is i'll just select the model over there okay select carefully uh, otherwise uh, it will go to the other side of the area okay I'm zooming in and I'll use the lasso tool lasso tool for select this area carefully yes okay and this area also I'm pressing shift and holding it and selecting this area okay then this area is just um, uh, selected but I don't want to select this area so uh, I'll select the mi minus one and press over there and it will deselect and here is also some area which is not necessary for select and I'm selecting this one carefully be careful when you are selecting this one okay I'm pressing ctrl O to fit the size okay then the other other side oh sorry the minus is uh, selected I have to select the plus one and increase the brush size uh, which is um, uh, third bracket closing button uh, it will reduce or increase the brush size selecting full the uh, selected or focused area be careful when you are selecting your subject just because of you know, the unnecessary thing will uh, select it or um, uh, something missing okay this word I selected all the necessary area of my picture and here is some gap I will deselect this one and I will say uh, click or take the laser tool again and you can press L for laser tool and I will hold press and hold the alter key and manually I will deselect this area from here okay now I'll get to the select and mask. I'm using Photoshop um, Creative Cloud 17, that means CC 17. And uh, if you are you um, use um, 15 or the earlier version of this one, um, you couldn't get this one. Uh, if you want to get this option, you have to update your Photoshop uh, in CC 17. Okay, uh, then. Uh, I'm going to here and I'll select or deselect this thing it's taking time unnecessary area which is selected it will reduce properly and smoothly it will remove okay
okay here is the advance option and uh, I will just output to output to the third one new layer with the layer mask and press ok here is the image which is selected or the background delay removed back background and now the previous one and before previous enough now okay then I will uh, press the control key and press over there this mask in the white area and it will select again then I will turn off this layer and I'll go to this layer and then I'll go to select modify and expand give 30 percent the border and then I'll go to edit find and then content error and hit ok this function is that um, uh, the selected area will uh, take the other side of the pixel of this background and it will remove the subject or the selected things uh, this one is the process to remove the any kind of spot from the um, picture okay I will um, uh, discuss this one detail in another tutorial let's go to the um, this tutorial and now this background is totally empty and my subject is totally different and the the original one is just over there okay I'll work with two layer so this layer is locked and then I'll select this layer and go to filter and the blur gallery and tile shift blur Ch tile shift and then I'll move this circle and I'll increase the blur a little bit little bit 30 pixel is enough I think and then I'll reduce the light you can increase the light okay the things I won't do that okay I'll hit okay now my background is blur and my subject is also deselected okay now here is some the blur area I'll reduce this one by masking by doing masking I'll just mask this reverse one and select the brush and reduce the brush size and then okay done now I'll make it group these two layers and merge this layer I'll go to camera raw filter and then I'll just give some vignette the hue saturation and luminance section I'll always desaturate green and yellow and luminance also and then saturated the red one and yellow one orange one and I'll remove the luminance of the magenta and purple okay then I'll add some amount of sharpening and luminance also and then go to the curve I'll go to the blue layer blue option and I'll reduce I'll give some blue shadow grade also and adjusting this one the RGB and then I'll give some chroma and the highlight I'll reduce the highlight I'll give some shadow and white also and black I'll remove 
and then I'll give clarity about 5 3 and minus 3 and hit OK this one is our previous image and now the present image and this one is too much better than the previous be just because of the color correction and some uh, thing you have to just uh, keep in uh, keep it in your mind that uh, if your ch um, uh, picture um, uh, make dreamy uh, it would be more creative or more lucrative than the previous this one is the amateur look and this one is the professional look you know that and now I will add the brushes here is the new layer and I will go to the file and I will give new one and uh, I'll make the new layer uh, or new brush layer actually I'll take um, uh, at first the 500 by 500 or okay 500 by 500 Look, and I'll just take it a transparent background background color black white custom okay fine that's not a big deal okay press create and I'll remove the background and then I'll take a brush make another layer and I'll take a brush and I'll change the brush you can get the sharpen one and reduce the brush size like that the pixel light like that and I'll give I'll take the color blue or black black is good flow and opacity this should be like that the one dot and another dot okay then edit and and the define the brush preset and the dust brush D U S T dust okay done and then I'll go back to my photo and I just took another new layer you know that and then I'll change the color and I'll go to the brush shape dynamic and change the shape and go to the shape dynamic and size also and angle also change and then scattered I'll use the amount and now I will brush over here okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thank you so much